In this video, we're going to put together what we've learned about polynomial division to completely factor this polynomial. So we've got g of x equals x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 13x squared minus 14x plus 24, and we want to completely factor it. So part A gives us a hint. It says, show that x minus 1 is a factor by synthetic division and write the quotient. So we're going to put positive 1 in the box because that's what the 0 would be and we'll write the coefficients, so 1, 2, negative 13, negative 14, and 24. Okay, do the synthetic division, so we bring down the 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, get negative 10, negative 10 times 1 is negative 10, get negative 24, times 1 is negative 24, and we get 0, okay? So what this tells us is that our original polynomial is equal to x minus 1 times, that was next to the fourth, so we're going to start with x cubed, x cubed plus 3x squared minus 10x minus 24. Okay, now part B says show that x plus 2 is another factor by dividing the quotient, so what we just got, by x plus 2, because we know that x plus 2 won't go into x minus 1, so it's going to go into the x cubed part. So we're going to do synthetic division. We'll put negative 2 in the box. 1, 3, negative 10, negative 24. So bring down the 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. We've got 1, negative 2, negative 12, 24, and 0. So this would be, this is telling us that this other part, that really now we have x minus 1, our factor from before, x plus 2, the factor we just did, times, that was an x cubed, so this is x squared plus x minus 12. Now it says find two more factors. That means we want to factor that quadratic. Um, and that's what we learned in unit 3, how to find those zeros. So we have x minus 1, x plus 2, and now this one happens to factor as x plus 4, and x minus 3. So we've now completely factored it. So when it says solve that this is equal to 0, we would set each of these factors equal to 0. So we'd get x equals 1, x equals negative 2, x equals negative 4, and x equals 3. 